Hey, I'm going to show you how to use a, a repair kit for the windshield, for a chip. And you can do it with, you can do the same thing with um, a crack, but you just don't use this whole apparatus thing right here. So I got the Rain-X uh, windshield repair kit. Uh, and it comes with this fucking suction cup thing. And... This hole right here, you mount it right, dead center with your with your chip, and uh, underneath there, I got the chip I got. It looks like there was an exit wound, and I was like, "Fuck, that sucks," because that means there's a hole. But it's just it hit, and then like inside the glass is like a fucking bubble. So I think what I'm gonna have to be doing is like inject this resin in there somehow. But anyway, so this dead center on top of the damn crack. And then I got these two things here. This right here is rubber. And there's a little hole right there. You see the little hole? Is it focusing? Yes. So there's a little hole. It's rubber. You want that to 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 O-ring on the the, the the hole. So I put it, screw it in here. And I want it to be flat on the windshield. It's kind of a cone shape. So you gotta look under the shit. Now it is flat on the windshield. Just like that. And this is your resin right here. I'm gonna have to cut it. And it says to put three to six drops in this shit. This thing's hollow. So I can't see. I just put quite a bit in there, I think. And I drip some on my windshield, but you scrape it off so it because it don't matter. Now it's in there and this is like your plunger. So you you just push this here and then you start screwing down until and you'll see a little bit of you'll feel it and if you see uh any leaking out then you tighten this one the first one but you do it real gently and if you need to see shit you uh you go in the in the vehicle which i might do here in a second and uh if for some reason this isn't enough and you're noticing air bubbles and shit, uh, you just do it again. So I'm going to go check in there. Will you turn the, the light off on that shit? You're blinding the fuck out of me. I don't know why I turned it on. We got a light. Yeah, there you go. So I'm going to do it again. Put more uh, resin in here, but for the most part, you just keep fucking shoving resin in that hole uh, until when you look in the inside and it looks good. Then you give it like five minutes to like harden, and then you take the whole shit off. Uh, and then if there's like any air bubbles or any other little craters, you just straight drip the resin on the top of it. Uh, and that's the same thing you do with the crack. And, and from from this bit of instruction on is what you do with the crack. You just put this shit on the top of it and you cover it with these shits. You just set these on here. You're going to want to clean them. My, I got fucking overspray on me from painting today and I got shit all over. But you want to get it off. And you put the resin on there. And then you put this on top of the resin and you just let it dry. It said to put it in sunlight or UV light and so I don't have any of that right now and I'm not going to do that but uh you don't have to apply any pressure to this you just fucking put it on and then when it's cured you take it off and then you scrape it with the razor blade so it's flush uh if at any time in during the curing process you still see air bubbles in there you take a heat gun uh just like regular epoxy resins take a heat gun and you keep repeating that process of filling it and the heat gun will make the bubbles come to the top.
That's how you do this.